I'm live. La 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 <laughs> well then. Well then, well then, well then. Well then, well then, well then. Can you see me or not? Am I on yet? Can you see me yet? Oh, there I am. I'm here. Perfect. Hello, hello. <laughs> That's interesting. It doesn't work as well on mobile apps. I was going to look on my phone to see if I was live. Anyway, cheers. Mm. Having a vape, having a drink, having a chat. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to try and try and talk down here, even on the microphones over there, and uh, I'm, do stuff. Welcome everybody. <clears throat> so, so is everyone here? Can everyone hear me and everything? Is everyone good? Sarah's here, Scotty's here, Nick's here, Dominic's here, Mark's here, Colin's here, hey, uh, everyone's in, everyone's in, Russ is in, Russ is even here, Lassie's in, hello to everybody, if not mentioned already, hello to everybody, um, vaping on, when I'm not talking about all the other stuff, got a lot of stuff to show you, I'm going to give you a glimpse of my tank as well in this live stream um, but um, when uh, when I'm not talking about those things vaping on the old Delrin phobic with the uh, Druga 22 mil on top happy days I don't know what I'm taking to jam or anything like that I haven't packed or anything like that always uh, super jealous of the people that have it all planned out and ready it'll just be a mad rush in the morning grabbing things um, so, 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 <clears throat> can't leave that there, table cam and that, right, phone's gone, phone's gone, doing this, doing this, right, what should we talk about first, should we talk about upcoming things, for review, um, got some new stuff, got some new stuff, uh, talked about this on the Ideal Home Show last night, I don't know if you saw that, uh, but this, this is the Luxonic NC with guillotine v2 on top um, guillotine v2 um, it's a thing if I do that does it uh, that, that could be a can of worms um, <laughs> uh, the guillotine v2 if you like guillotine v1 they've slightly upgraded it um, they've changed the airflow completely um, making it quite a tasty vape mm -mm -mm. And uh, but it's got the same clamp style posts as before, and it's got um, it's got the little over the top thing going on. So yeah, the Druga, uh, the um, Guillotine V2 is uh, a, a solid, solid RDA. Now then, the actual mod, the actual mod, still getting scripts with this. This is pretty new in, well, a pretty new getting it out of the box. Um, I've had it a little bit. But um, the actual mod is still a little bit of a mystery to me. Uh, people are calling it the Noisy Cricket V3 more than the Luxonic because it's got this, your battery's going in series. No, your battery's going in parallel, but and it has a parallel unregulated mode, but um, <laughs> the, actual, the actual mod has also, if you switch that across, the ability to be a PWM, which is where you turn this dial... This dial here, 
you turn that dial and you can adjust your volts all the way up so right now I've got it just as a, a dual parallel unregulated mod um, Trevor to be fair I think Wismec have pretty much resolved their 510 issues um, I think there are uh, obviously some people had some terrible issues with their 510 on their Wismec mods and totally understandable that those people were furious but they weren't they're not the only people now they're not going to be the only people ever to do press fit 510s it's just that they were really bad press fit 510s but i think they've resolved it all their mods since that that hic hiccup they've had inset 510s where you couldn't pull it out because the actual casing of the mod prevents that anyway um so the 510 seems fine so far um, so yeah, so um, the guillotine V2 looks really good. I'm really liking the guillotine V2. The airflow is very cool. Uh, very tricky to show you. I could try and do this. I could try and do this and show you the guillotine V2 airflow. Hold on. Right, take this off. Okay, so the air comes in here comes in here and goes sort of slightly upward it's not a true underneath airflow can you see that if I tilt it this way can you see that so it's not a true underneath airflow it's like a semi sort of semi 45 degree angle airflow so it does mean that you know it's not going to flood easy or, or or anything like that um but uh it it's, it's a very nice way of doing the airflow and it means the flavor is very nice it seems to be that way anyway um, but so the guillotine v2 seems very very solid indeed the mod is still a bit of a mystery to me i will say that in pictures this mod looks phenomenal like really pretty it's got a sort of melody look to it with the plate here in in reality though the this bit here is just plastic it's just plastic. Um, yeah. What more can I say than that? I mean, it, it it's resin looking, but it's just it's just plastic. Unless I'm missing something about my understanding of resin, it just seems to be plastic. So that's a bit of a mystery. That is a bit of a mystery. Let me catch up with chat. Uh, <laughs> What's everyone else drinking? I'm on the Fosters. I uh, got a couple left over from the Ideal Home Show last night. What's everyone else drinking? It's okay if it doesn't have to be an alcoholic drink. Just literally, what are you drinking? Uh, daily, the um, switch on top is what turns it into PWM mode instead of um, unregulated. So ver if you turn that switch, variable voltage. And you use this to adjust the what voltage. I don't get the name either. Uh, who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Uh, Russ, I agree. I don't get why they called it Luxonic. They should have stuck all their squonkers under the Luxonic banner um, and just called this something else. Um, uh, who's saying that? Trev? Trevor, what are you saying? Trevor. The 510, yeah, the 510 seems absolutely fine. Um, it can fit 25 mil on and yeah, it seems fine. Uh, Pepsi Max, Colin's on Pepsi Max, Scotty's on coffee, Trevor's on coffee. Do you drink coffee this late? I'd be up all night. Uh, Daly's on water. Uh, Rust is on lemonade. Uh, could liquid get into this switch? Um, it'd have to go some. It'd have to go some, but yeah. Yeah, it could. It could It could make this journey. But um, it'd be a hell of a journey for the juice to make. You know, it'd never be good for the juice to be running down there. But but yeah, it could a bit. It could a bit. Um, uh, it, 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 whether it's resin, on, resin or not, and I had this debate about the uh, pulse bottom feeding device, the pulse squonker. Whether it's bottom feeding or not, and whether that was 3D printed material or not, it feels plasticky. And it feels cheap as chips. And that's, I don't know, it looks so grand, but in reality, it's like um, the walnut dash on a rover. 
from 93, 94. Um, it, does anybody get that reference? Um, yeah. Blackcurrant squash Pete's on. Jack and Coke, Derry. Um, yeah, so that's a thing. That's all a thing. That's all good. That's all good. Uh, Andrew's at the vet. It, the internet's amazing, isn't it? You can do anything with it, wherever you want. Uh, the bottom feeling in pin. I haven't got that far. I haven't got that far. Uh, who said that? Richard uh, Rushton. Sorry, mate. I haven't got that. I haven't got as far as the BF pin. I've got to test the mod, so I might as well use the RDA on the mod for now. Um, so that's that's that. Mm -mm. The price on the um, Luxonic NC apparently is going to be dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. That's the that's what it says on the Wismec site when you go on right now. It just says dirt cheap. Um, apparently it's going to be really cheap um, so that's a thing that's a thing um, Schwartz is in Schwartz here. Are, you not, are you not there yet oh no where's my juice oh there it is um, bit of gluttony on this one um, the next thing that's come in recently this is in no particular order I'll check my notes in a, in a bit um, is this, again, I showed on the Ideal Home Show, the Dreamer from Times Vape. Is that right, Times Vape? Yep, Times Vape, the Dreamer. This is a 21700 mech. comes with a, uh, a tube, a sleeve, if you want to use other batteries. Um, but very, very pretty, very nice shape. Is that coming across? Yeah, it is. That coming across on cam. Uh, very pretty shape. Um, lovely switch. And I think this is coming tomorrow with me at Jam. I need to stick this battery in the charger after this. There haven't been, that I've seen, I'm not a super mech head, but from what I've seen, there hasn't been a lot of great 21700 tubes yet. Um, but this is up there. This is up there. Um, lovely sort of brass thing going on. Isn't this no way of showing you on cam that the switch is good, that the switch is nice? It's a really nice press. Um, it, just the right amount of sort of tension on it. Um, and it feels great in the hand with that groove down there. So um, I am enjoying the uh, Dreamer. The Dreamer and a video, I'll do a video for that soon too. Mm. And the Dreamer is not particularly expensive from what I've seen. It seems to be about 65, 70 quid. Something like that, so that's pretty good. But again, I don't know much about that yet either. Um, I was told I was getting it. It has suddenly appeared, and I haven't got that far yet. Um, so that is that. Uh, Dave, David Smithson says the Luxonic NC is 35 delivered from uh, from overseas. And that's If that's true, that's amazing. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. Uh, so those uh, those little arrows will, will disappear in a sec. What else? What else? Oh, um, I'm going to need your guys' um, expertise and help with this one. So this one, this one isn't new. Um, I asked Gearbest um, very politely if they would send me this for a very specific reason. This is the uh, VI75 from H Cigar. Um, can you see the screen? I've got the Thundercats theme on. Can you see that? One, two, three, four, five. I've got Thundercats. Thundercats, yeah, so I've got Thundercat theme on there. So it's the DNA 75C mod 26650 um, H Cigar VI75. And I asked them to send me this because. Um, <laughs> Because uh, apparently there's going to be an update very soon uh, for the DNA 75C, which features that new replay feature. So I'm going to do, as soon as that drops the update to that firmware, I'm going to do a video about this. This will probably be as cheap as you can get the the uh, replay feature from Evolve on a, in a mod. And, uh, and I actually think it's a very solid, cool mod as well. I've got the Bravo on top. Um, 
so yeah, it's blue on blue background. Um, apologies for that. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I think that's a cool setup, and it's going to have in the in the next couple of weeks. It should have the replay feature. Um, I should say at this point, uh, Mark Todd has done a brilliant video on the DNA 250C, which already has the replay feature. But I want to do a video about the 75C, my take on the replay feature, how I get on with it, how you can get the replay feature in a mod, super cheap, using that, and that's why that's a thing. And um, it says snarf when you press the fire button, and I like that. Um, uh, there's absolutely uh, no reason why I've got that Thundercat theme other than Thundercats. Why are you saying check your camera? Uh, is it all right now or not? It looks all right on my thing. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's not a brand new mod by any means, but I want to do a video uh, about the 75C having the ability to do the replay feature. So that's a thing. What else do I need to show you? Um, this, this, I did show you this in the previous vlog. I don't know if you saw that, um, but this is the culture, this is the Cultura uh, from VZone. And um, that's a thing. I've got my little Squay PC on here. Still get loads of emails and messages and stuff about the EC. Do I still like it? Is it still going good? I'm thinking about getting one and all that. And I, I totally get it because it's not your typical purchase. It's slightly more expensive than a typical purchase. Um, I love the EC. A rattly fire button. Um, but I love the EC and that is on the Cultura. Normal colours are available of this. So um, don't uh, don't worry about that. Uh, so that is, that's still in the queue. As is this. Also from V-Zone, I believe. Yep, yeah, also from V-Zone. The Graffiti. The Graffiti. The Graffiti. Uh, from V-Zone. And this is a 220 watt banger. Uh, dual 18650s in series. In a, um, a very garish style. Mm. There's nothing I can do about that, Mark. <laughs> Um, so that's a thing. I've just done the RX Jewel. If you missed that one, check that out. Um, it, it, it was just a quick look because the board is the exact same as the uh, Gen 3, the RX Gen 3. It's just a two battery version of that. So I just did a quick look. But my quick looks now, if you haven't seen a quick look for a while, quick looks do feature um, actual up close segments within them. Um, so hopefully that's that's okay. That's cool. Um, I've got this to show you as well. This. This is the iCard from eLeaf. Should we do a bit of uh, a bit of good times on here? Look at this. So you pull the cap off, and this is what you've got. It's. Uh, Quite a, it's quite a little thing. It's a little starter kit. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, I don't know. Can you see? Did you see the light show there? And uh, fire button here on the, on the other side. And that uh, that fires up. And uh, yeah, it's got a little latch system here. You unlock it like that, and you can turn it. Am I, am I on properly on camera here? Yeah. So you do that latch here, and uh, you can turn it click it back in and it, it doesn't turn and that's how you fill it and change it and all that sort of stuff um, but it is essentially um, a starter kit type vape so that's yeah it's sort of like your typical starter kit type thing um, the tank is this bit here you got your mouthpiece and then you've got your fire button on the other side. 650 mar. It's a tidy little thing, a tidy little thing. I think um, it's a mouth to lung. It is mouth to lung. Um, I'll go for a lung hit. So you can do a very tight lung hit with it. It's um, It's what they all seem to be now. They all seem to be this 
new mouth to lung. They, you know, uh, very loose compared to the traditional mouth to lung. Um, but I, I mouth to lung it. I would mouth to lung it. One, two, three, four, five. Turn it off. It's got a light show within the tank. Um, it's a it's a nice little starter kit. I guess the main thing with it is it's super thin, like a credit card or something like that. Not, I mean, it's not as thin as a credit card, but it's really thin, so it's pocket friendly. An airy mouth to lung, Jeremy, spot on. That's what that is. So, uh, show you the culture graffiti subverter. I have a subverter. This has got a very clicky fire, uh, fire button. Uh, this is from Vaporstorm. This is the Subverter. On this side, it's got it's it's got its own thing going on, and it's fine. On this side, though, it's got this. I can see the batteries thing going on. And if your batteries aren't orangey red, then uh, I don't know. Not the most glamorous, I don't think. Um, but I have it here. What have we got? I've got a bit of juice on it. Oh, I know. I've got on here. I've got Narta. I shouldn't do that. It goes right up my nose, makes you sneeze. <coughs> um, but yeah, um, got my original, original recoil on here. Um, the vapor storm. The vapor. What is it? The star. Vapor storm. The vapor storm. Vapor storm subverter. Is what this is. It's got sort of a 3D plasticky feel, um, but not in uh, misleadingly. It clearly is plasticky, and that's what it is. Um, yeah. It's got kind of um, an old fashioned looking screen. Does that show up? It kind of shows up. Um, it's got quite an old fashioned looking screen. It's got color and that, but it's very old, old worldy. Um, the board seems spot on, though, to be fair. From from what I've I've had a go on it with, um, I haven't checked the price yet. If the price is right, um, this might be a handy little out and about lightweight eighteen six fifty dual eighteen six fifty two hundred watt banger. Um, so review to come for that. Obviously, uh, loads of people have already done reviews for that one. That one's um, a little bit slow off the mark. Hmm. I'll show you some more stuff in a bit. Let's um, let's uh, let's go. Let's do what we talked about last time. Let's talk about um, what are you watching. What are you watching on the old telly? Um, when you're not watching vaping videos, what are you watching? What are you watching? Let me know in chat. I'll tell you what I'm watching right now. Um, Billions has started back up again on now now TV. That's how I watch it in the UK anyway. Now TV, Billions has started back up. Love that show. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it, it's brilliant. It slipped under the radar a bit, I think, but I think Billions is absolutely brilliant. Um, let me know what you're watching in chat. Um, so I'm watching Billions. Uh, Suits has started again on Netflix. I like that program. I don't think it's so widely loved. It's got our, it's got our future princess on it, but other than that, I don't think it's got much uh, attention. I really like Suits. Really liking Suits. Billions Suits. Uh, Walking Dead. That's still ongoing. <laughs> Um, I, talk, I think I've talked about this before, but what's really annoyed me about um, Walking Dead is that they've said it's never ending. It's, it's, there's no plans to end Walking Dead. I want them to just do one more series and just end it. End it. I want to know the end. I want, to, I want it to be a complete thing. Uh, but it just runs and runs. Lassie's watching True Grit. Sarah's watching... Sarah, sorry, is watching Gotham. Derry's watching Lucifer. Gotham, right. We watched Gotham. Um... But we stopped watching it after about a series and a half or something because um, Gordon, Inspector Gordon or Constable Gordon or whatever he's called before Chief Gordon, obviously, um, he never has a good day. He never has a win. <laughs> Every day is a bad day for Gordon. And um, but um, yeah, uh, so that's so that's what put us off it really. Um, although I did see an advert for it on the telly. And it looks like Batman's appearing now, which could be amazing. So we might go back to persevering with that. Um, yeah, so Walking Dead, although I don't know how long we're going to give Walking Dead now. Because it's just, I don't want to watch, I don't want to watch a soap opera 
set in the apocalypse. I wanted to watch a complete condensed thing. Uh, what's everyone else watching then? Uh, Iggy's watching Rick and Morty over and over again. Iggy, I don't know if you know, but um, a web episode has been released of Rick and Morty. Um, they're struggling with the contracts with the networks, but they've released um, they've released a web video. If you Google Rick and Morty on Google and put the news tab on, there should be a link to it. You can watch the latest uh, web edition of Rick and Morty on there. Um, Andre is watching Blind Spot. I don't know that one. Uh, David's watching Forged in Fire. Sin City Motors. <laughs> Um, a few people are watching Forged in Fire. I've never heard of it. Um, Sneaky Pete, yeah, that's a thing. MacGyver. Um, a series of unfortunate en events. I haven't checked that out yet. Is that an ad is that for adults or for everyone? Is it a f is it a family program or adults or kids or what? Um, the Big Bang Theory, yeah, but that's still that's still going. Uh, Russ is planning on watching Punisher. Yeah, um. If I'm being honest, we haven't watched Punisher. Simply because I feel like I know the story pretty well. And I know it's going to be pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Um, and not a lot of cheer in that story, from what I understand. Um, but that's the thing. Martin's watching the Rugby League, Saints v Hull. Okay. That's a very northern. That's a very northern thing, Martin. It, nobody watches it below Sheffield. <laughs> um... Iggy's talking to someone else. Um, Young Sheldon, yeah, I might check that out. I like Big Bang Theory, but it's just one of those, like, friends, in it? It's just on. Um, cool, 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 cool. So, yeah, uh, there's a few I should need I need to check out. I need to, we need to catch up with Punisher. I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to Google Forged in Fire. I've never heard of that. Sneaky Pete. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're that's what we're all watching. It's totally different now, isn't it? It's all about box sets now, isn't it? It's all about on demand box sets. Netflix, now TV, iPlayer. Oh, that's another thing we're trying to watch. We're trying to watch Britannia. Um we've we're a couple into that, two or three into that, trying to get into it. Um it seems really good, it's just taking a bit of getting into. Sarah, just just tape Cory. Um, just tape Cory. Okay, so what else do I need to show you? Oh, uh, I've got this to review as well. Again, I think I showed you this in the last vlog. This is the Puma, the Puma, the uh, the Puma. This is Vape Storm as well, I believe. Um, that did this one. Uh, this is essentially a slightly chunkier, slightly funkier um, Tesla WYE 200 watt. So it's this um, super light, it is Vaporstorm, um, it's this super light material, it's just like the Tesla YE was made of, um, 200 watt thing. I don't know if mine's slightly faded. I don't know if it slightly fades, I don't know, but um, very, very light. Very, but but at the same time very solid. Um, that's what the Bravo was on before the H cigar. Um, so I've got that to show you as well. Oh, I've got I've got these things as well to show you. Oh, I've got batteries in here and everything. Um, this is a new RDTA from Asmodus. Sent at the same time as the Pumper. Uh, if you missed the review for that, big fan of this. Big fan of this mod, the Pumper. Check that out, the Pumper 18. Um, so, yeah, so this is the new Asmodus RDTA, the Nefarious. <laughs> the Nefarious RDTA. It, I think it's really harsh to say it's an, just another RDTA, but it's just another RDTA. Um, it's a thing, it's a thing. The posts are pretty cool. The top feels very cool. You pour it down the center, pour it down... Pour it down that hole. Um, but it is just essentially another RDTA. I don't know why they don't get my love RDTAs. I think they're good. But um, but yeah. Also got this. What's this? This is the GTRS. These are the guys that made the uh, V-Boy. 
<laughs> the V-Boy, do you remember that? Uh, this is the P2222, the P222 um, from GTRS. It's got a screen here. I wonder if I'll show you this one up close. I don't know if that even helps, but uh, let's have a go. So here we go. So this is it. So the screen is here. It's behind one of these sort of semi-frosted, semi-tinted things. Um, so it's not super easy to see um, on something like a camera like this. Um, but uh, it's got all this going on, you know, the one, two, three, navigate around, fire and all that. And uh, it's got this slightly open face thing here. So you grab hold of this, you can see your batteries. And that's, that's just a little plastic door. Sticks on really nice. It's a really good door. Um, and the whole thing's sort of a round, chunky sort of thing. 26mm atties should go on here. I mean, it's a solid thing. If you're a fan of the V-Boy uh, and the boards that, that, that these guys do, GTRS and, and all that sort of thing, it's a very solid, solid mod. Um, yeah. Again... Again, not uh, a chance to test this properly, but one thing I will say about this nefarious RDTA, it's a very smooth airflow. Very, very smooth airflow. Um, pretty quiet and very smooth feel to it. Um, it's nice. It's nice. Um, the mod, the mod seems absolutely fine. Um, pretty unspectacular in a lot of ways you know I don't it's not groundbreaking in any way this mod that I'm aware of but uh, but a very solid one very well put together very sturdy um, yeah solid solid mod if you're a fan I mean that's what that was the v, the v boy as well so if the v boy appealed to you then this will as well I think um, very just solid eight double eighteen six fifty situation Uh, so that's a thing as well. Showed you the Dreamer, showed you the 75C, showed you the Luxonic. Right, that is all that stuff. That is all that stuff. Uh, vape Jam tomorrow. Anyone going to Vape Jam in chat? Are we all the non uh, the non going crew? I'm gonna cut this weird uh, enclosure off my uh, can. Save the uh, save the dolphins and all that, all the, the tuna. I don't know what it saves. I can't remember what gets stuck in those things. Hmm. Um, but um, ah, Alaska vapor. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Keith's in as well. Have I said hi to Keith? Um. Yes. So yeah. So uh, tomorrow I'm off to vape jam tomorrow. Uh, Excel in London. If you're anywhere, if you're close by, you don't have plans, go. Go, go, it'll be an experience. It'll be it will be an experience. It'll be a thing. Uh go. It'll be cool. I'm gonna I'm driving down first thing, early doors in the morning. Um and uh yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. No idea what I'll be vaping or anything like that, but I'll be there. Um I'll have a, a quick look around and then I'll be in the pub just outside. So uh see you there if you're going. Is anyone going in? Is anyone going? Spork Life's Oh oh said hi there. Colin's going, I think. Jessica Jones Series 2. I haven't um, summoned up the strength to watch that yet. It's, I like it, I really like it, but it's quite gritty. Is gritty the right word? It's quite gritty. Um, so I haven't watched that yet. Um, Matt Radin is in Malaysia. Hello. I'm driving down, Colin, but I'm parking the car. I've got a hotel room. Don't worry. It's all good. Uh, vape Fest is where other people are going. Uh, Mark Todd will probably be at Vape Fest. If you if if you go into Jam to see Mark Todd, you're out of luck. Um, you'll have to wait till the summer for your autographs. Um, do I enjoy the Inikin Aries mouth to lung RTA? I know a better one. <laughs> I'll talk. <laughs> I'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Um, yeah. I don't know. There's uh, there's mouth lung RTAs and there's mouth lung RTAs, isn't there? Is that a really helpful thing to say? Um, 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that's the thing. That's the thing. Right. Is everyone accounted for in chat? Let's just see. Let's just make sure. Uh, Dave's not off to jam. Oh, come to jam. It's The problem is, right, the problem with jam is it's in London, I think. That's the main, my, my, the main issue with it, really, because anyone above Yorkshire, it's just way too far. Even in Yorkshire, it's a bit of a trek. And then you've got the whole London thing, the traffic thing, the commuting thing, expense of tickets and... Not the tickets to get in, but the travel, you know, your travel tickets, and it's not cheap, is it? Uh, Diddy liked The Punisher. I will watch it. I will get around to watching it. I will get around to watching it. Uh, <laughs> Good stuff. Ad Adam Millington's in the house. You'll be watching Amateur Boxing in Exeter. Not many people can say that. Um, okay. All right. So I'm going to tease my RTA a bit. Um, okay. <laughs> I'll give you a quick look at it. <laughs> um, right. What can I? What can I? And can I? Can what can and I can't say about this? Okay. So can I have a vape on it? Okay, so I've got an RTA coming out. Uh, if you've been watching the vlogs and stuff, you'll probably know. Um, it's very close. It's very close to being ready to tell everyone about. Um, in a nutshell, what it is, is an RTA that's affordable. It's made in China. I've worked with a, a Chinese company uh, to produce this RTA. Um, it's a co-design, you know, I'm not completely responsible for the whole design of it. Um, I don't know, I, I don't know how you would do the split percentage-wise, but it's it's kind of my idea, my design, but their input as well, their expertise as well. I've come together to make an RTA. The RTA's premise is to bring back this, this style of vaping that's really popular in the more expensive atomizers and RTAs um, so you've got your Squape EC a classic example a brilliant vape 20 to 40 watts an absolutely brilliant vape 20 to 40 watts but not cheap but not cheap and you've got your Hurricanes you know 20 to 40 watt beautiful vape but not cheap um, <laughs> and again so really and that is that is how i vape that is my style of vaping you know i love squonking i love dripping i love i love all the styles of vaping of course i do i have to as a as, as a reviewer but if i was forced into a corner to pick one vape it would be you know a mid wattage mid to low wattage restricted lung 30 40 watt vape on an rta that's my thing and so i wanted to bring out a tank that just I mean, no one's doing this. No one's doing a tank that's like 20 to 40 watt vape. Um, it's not from Motofo. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to say who it's by yet um, because that's all part of the sort of big launch that I'm hoping to do. You know, I'm uh, really going to put it out there, sort of hoping for next week, middle to end of next week. Um, we're, I'm, waiting on, I'm waiting on two parts to be sent to me for final check. Um, the... Uh, TPD compliant silicon that needs to go in the tank to make it two mil, and the mouth to lung restrictor bung that needs to go in the air hole, so you can use it as a mouth to lung in the same way that you can use a K from uh, five with uh, a bit in the middle to make it a mouth to lung. Um, so it's going to be a very nice mouth to lung vape with the restrictor in, but then when it's not got the restrictor in, it's going to be that twenty to forty sort of watt RTA. Um, 22 mil wide, so it can go on all your mods, it can go on all your tubes, it can go on your, your little diddy mods as well. It can be portable. Um, the, the main idea about it was really well made, but really affordable. Super easy to build, super easy to wick. Great flavour for that 20 to 40. You can stretch it up to 50 sort of watt vape, and that's that's the, the, the premise really. Uh, it's a little bit like the SMM in as much as the vape style, uh, a bit. Um, so, yeah. Uh, 
it's very tricky to talk about without showing you guys. Um, it's really close. It's really close. Um, it's got a lovely top fill on it. It's got really nice airflow options, and it's just that type. It's just that type of vaping that, for some reason, has gone out of fashion, but I still really like. And so it's just a. It's just a tank that I hope I'm hoping. A certain type of vapor is still around, like me, that loves the scrapes, loves the hurricanes, loves the K-funds, that still wants to have a go on vaping like this. But really well made and really affordable. Not really affordable, it's not going to be dirt cheap, it's not going to be like clone cheap, but um, that's the plan. Um, I can t do you know what? I, mm, I can't even tell you the name yet. I can't even tell you the name yet. Um, but... Uh, it is single coil. It is single coil. It is single coil. Of course, it's single coil. Um, yeah. So uh, I don't know what else I can and can't tell you really. Um, to start with, it's going to be stainless steel with a frosted tank um, and a black version as well. So stainless steel with frosted tank, and then there's a black version as well. If it goes well, we're going to do a set of colours. But it's not Watofo. It's not Vandy Vape, obviously. Uh, it's not it's not boo boo um but yeah so it's um that's i think that's all i can say right now um hoping if i can get those two parts and those two parts are fine it can go into full 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 production full i've, I've got all the packaging the packaging is all signed off i've written my little bit for the packaging um so that's all sorted literally just making sure those two last bits are okay uh, and they work exactly as intended um and and then it's it's literally good to go. We want to be all set up to go when we press the trigger, and a completely impartial, impaired review will be carried out by your very own Mark Todd, who's hopefully not fallen asleep yet. Um, so no, uh, yeah, Mark will be doing a video on it. Hopefully, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a set of videos on it actually because it's kind of a big deal for me. Um, capacity. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the capacity um, yet because it'll be so much easier in the video that I can explain why and all that sort of stuff um, so yeah so that's the thing so send it to Matt Todd I'm going to send it to some people that don't like me as well <laughs> um, so Hopefully there's some uh, impartial reviews out there. Not that Mark wouldn't be completely brutal. He already has been. I've already sent him some pictures and he's been brutal. But, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, Mark's going to get a version. So at the very at the very least, Mark will r mention it in, a, in one of his live things, I'm sure. Hmm. By the way, if you're not in Mark Todd's Facebook group, you're missing a treat because it's one of already overnight success it's already one of the best um facebook vaping facebook groups out there lovely people and you get the constant permanent mark mark seems to you know he does a live live little live stream in that group every day so if you like his vlog you're laughing you're absolutely laughing in there um yeah so jeremy um it is completely mouth to lung possible um there you basically like the K from five, you have to get, you have to buy a mouth to lung kit um, to turn it into a mouth to lung tank. With this, it's just included, so you literally just put the insert in to turn it into a mouth to lung vape. Um, it very, it very much is a mouth to lung tank. Um, it's that's just not my preferred style, but it really does mouth to lung properly. I promise, it's I promise it's gonna. Um, yeah, so it, I'm hoping it's, I'm hoping it's a really genuine option for mouth to lungers, and. That, that that 20 to 40 watt to 45 watt vapors um i'm hoping there's still some some people out there that are that but um but yeah so um that's that's that is there any other questions about the tank that i can answer i'll have a look at chat now i'm scrolling up I'm scrolling up oh the drip tip what oh, okay the drip tip is um a 510 drip tip so i really like the drip tip that's included but you put whatever drip tip in you want. It's a 510 drip tip. Obviously, you know, again, the, the whole tank is one big sanity check. So it's not a huge capacity tank because you're not plowing for a juice. It's not a goon tip because it's not a high wattage device. It's 22 mil, 
because it again you're not plowing through juice it doesn't need to be big it works on sub 50 watt mods so again it, the whole thing is a big almost the top complete opposite of what everyone else is doing with tanks like i love the bravo rta but it, I, I guess in every way it's the opposite of the bravo i love the bravo but it's the opposite it's single coil it's 22 mil it's small airflow it's mouth to lung compatible 510 drip tip so i guess it's just in every way the opposite of that um <laughs> uh, it is single coil i can't the, i can't uh, um i can't uh, uh so yeah I, 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 I don't think I can I don't think I can dwell on it any longer than that without showing you guys and I'm really not allowed to show it yet um yeah I, I really want to control the the launch release of it type thing haven't even got any vendors lined up yet I mean I know a few but all that's to sort out price will be typical <laughs> um it's made in China so the price will be according. I'm not. We're not pulling your pants down, um, just because it's got this silly sod's name on it. Um, so yeah, it will. St <laughs> Mark, uh, if it stops your hair going grey and it stops my hair going grey, it is. It's going to be the perfect RTA, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think. Uh, uh, I think I've said what I can about it. I think I've said what I can. Mark's seen it. Ask Mark. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I do a Paul Hogan Crocodile Dundee impression? What, what did he say? What did he used to say? Did he used to, was it just one big cliche? I tell you what. I went to a bar in uh, Tenerife in 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 my younger days with the lads, and uh, it was called Down Under Bar. And it had um, it had like twelve tellies behind the bar, six and six like that, on top of each other. And it had BBC News upside down and Crocodile Dundee the right way up. So they turned the TVs upside down for uh, uh, <laughs> upside down for BBC News, and they put them the right way up for Crocodile Dundee. So you really felt like you were in Australia, even though you were in Tenerife. Um, oh yeah. He said that it was knifey spoony. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> um, do you know they're doing a new Crocodile Dundee film without him in? It's sacrilege. Um, it's getting to that point, isn't it? It's getting to that point in the vlog. Um, where uh, it's getting to that point in the live show where we start to talk utter nonsense. Right, five ten minutes left. Is there anything anyone wants me to talk about in chat? While you're deciding what you want me to talk about in chat, if anything, uh, constipated leprechaun. Hello, good e good evening. Hello. Um, while you're doing that in chat, I'm going to quickly mention um, Billy the Vaping Heaven. In the previous vlog, I talked about the Yup RDA and the similarities between that and the dead rabbit and Billy not being happy about the Yup RDA and the dead rabbit. He's done a really good Instagram post on, on the subject. Um, he's had... Don't forget, he did the dead rabbit, which was lovely, and the Yup RDA came along. <laughs> he's kind of the victim in this, but he has got torrents of abuse about his reaction to the Yup RDA. Which is completely wrong. It's completely back to front way around it. Um, he's done a really nice Instagram post which lays it out his whole thing about it. In his opinion, the top cap is the same. The airflow is the same. The packaging is the same. The 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 deck posts are very 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 similar. The branding is very similar. Everything about it is very similar. And I talked about it in the previous vlog. <sighs> it's the closest thing. Now, it's still not a clone in my eyes. They've still not used the name. They've still not piggybacked the brand and all that. But I will say that I really do sympathise with Billy the Vaping Heaven about it. I do. I really do sympathise with it. But like I said before, this is China. This is China. 
this is a game and it's painful it is painful at times but yeah it's, it's, there's not much you can do about it um, and so it's, it's not much you can say about it and I stand by what I said in the vlog but at the same time it really like I even put in the pinned comments it really isn't it really isn't his fault at all I can completely sympathise with his reaction to it everything so yeah um, it just I guess what I'm saying is my comments on the Yup RDA in the previous vlog were not meant to detract from him at all, really. He, he's a really nice guy. Mm. What's that? Has anyone said anything in... If you did your own LG, what would it be called and what capacity would it be? Uh, from Mark. Um, that's very funny. Um... Those, those are the two things I haven't told you. I've literally told you everything else. Um, uh, don't get, don't get the grief. He's getting. Look at the side by side comparison. Yeah, I agree, Russ. I, he, do, he certainly does not deserve any grief because someone has very closely been inspired by his RDA. Absolutely not. Uh, will you be a guest on the UK Vape Show with Vic? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm usually really busy at that time. Um, so probably not. Probably not. Although, it's a great show. Um, and do check it out on Catch Up. Right, Okay. If we don't have anything specific, right, I just want to know, I, re I genuinely want to know this. I really want to know, what are you vaping? What are you vaping right now? What are you vaping? What are you vaping right now? I'm, I'm on this. It's quite loud, isn't it? It's, nothing, it's not like a, a review video where it's all lovely and produced and stuff. I can't do anything about the noise. Mountain Biker 66. Cheers, mate. Thanks for tuning in. What's everyone vaping? What's everyone vaping? Come on. Come on. Catch up. Catch up with me. God, chat is really far behind. Is anyone I've not said hi to? I've said hi to Derry. I've said hi to Keith. I've said hi to Constipated Leprechaun. That's an amazing name. Sinistral, Sinistral in the house. Um, my Facebook group. Don't know, don't know. Because I've got the Ideal Home Show Facebook group. And even if you don't watch the Ideal Home Show, still a great Facebook group, join in. Right, here, they're coming through now. Bravo on the Basilisk, great setup. Uh, Apocalypse RDA on a Mac. Goon 1.5. I need a Goon 1.5. Palm BF and Strike. <laughs> How is that Strike, Mark? It looks good. Um, ah, Elif Invoke with the Prime on top. Solid. This is what I like about you guys. You, you're not your typical YouTube audience. <laughs> How do I explain that? You guys have been vaping a long time. You know what's good. You know what's bad. And that's what I like. It, do you know what I mean? You see other people's comment section on their reviews and it's like, I got e -cig, what's wrong? And it's like, I don't get that because you guys are like on it, properly on it. Cleto XO on a Minikin V2. I used to rock that setup at work every day. Great setup. SQ and Goon, nice. Where's my SQ? Oh, it's here. Love it. Great, great mod. Shame about the 510. Have they changed the 510 now? Uh, Troll V1 on the SMPL, mate. Like, old school. I mean, it, vaping moves so fast that that is technically old school. OBS engine on the Skelly123. Nice. Uh, Mark Ali, 120. <laughs> literally thousands of people don't watch it. Um, uh, oh, oh. Oh, it's really too late to say. I haven't put chat up on screen this time. And the reason for that is YouTube have made it so you can you can see the chat live when you're watching this back. So if you're watching this back and you're an hour in, uh, <laughs> you you uh, you could have been seeing chat if you'd have just looked around your screen. 
Oceanus Bonza. I love the Bonza. I love the Bonza. Bonza's still in rotation. Love the Bonza. Love Bogan. Um, Bogan is coming to Vape Expo. So if you want to meet Bogan, it's that's your that's your big chance. Unless you're going to the Emirates to watch Arsenal, and then you might see him there. But if you if you're not, you want to get yourself to Expo if you want to meet Bogan. Kylie Mini on the Leaf Trio again. I, see, this is what I'm talking about. Everyone's got a solid setup. Limelight Pipe K Fun <laughs> SX Mini and the EVL. Literally, literally, no one's put a ropey setup yet. Arco 2, what's that? I don't know that one. Mm, fair enough. Um, Leon, I haven't said hi to you. Uh, <laughs> Daniel DJ LSB is in the house. Um, he's in the house. Daniel, what a great opportunity to tell you. I am loving your new vlogs. Very Peter McKinnon. I don't know if you watch Peter McKinnon, but I really like it. I really like that the effort you're putting in with your new vlogs and congratulations on a smooth transition into America. Fantastic. Um if you don't if you if you if you aren't already, and I'm sure you are a subscriber of DJ LSB, check him out. Beautiful man. A beautiful man. Um I'm guessing you're not a jam then, DJ. You've come into Expo though, aren't you? Um Right. I think that's it. What is there anything I need to to summarize? I've got all that stuff, all that stuff um, ready to review. I'm working my way through it. What will be next? What will be next? <laughs> I've um, in the living room is a mod I haven't shown you today. Um, it's the iJoy mod, the new iJoy mod with voice control. I'm thinking about doing a cheeky video tonight. I'm thinking about recording a cheeky video tonight, having a go with the new iJoy voice control mod. So um, that might be next. That might be next. If it's not that next, it will be... It will be... The Cultura. The Cultura, which is this one. 2700 uh, regulated mod. Um, available not just in camo. Um, but yes. Yes. Uh, so that... That will probably be next if I don't get my head around the voice control thing. <laughs> so, I'm, yeah, I'm playing with that. I'm playing with that tonight. And I might do a little video on it as well. Oh, it's not coming to Expo. No. Oh, well, there's always next time. There's always next time. Um, so they they might be next. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, a cheeky live video. Just before we go to Jam tomorrow. See you at Jam tomorrow if you're there. Don't forget, Mark Todd is not there. So don't bring your autograph books. Um, unless I don't know, unless you want someone else's autograph. But there's no one else. That, who else is there than Mark Todd? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so that's, that's about it. That's about it. Uh, I think that's all. Everything else is good. Everyone, everything else is well. Oh, my throat is pretty much fixed now from uh, that tonsillitis that I had. Um, so all good, all good. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Vape, Drink, Chat, Chill, Live. <laughs> uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that like button. And as Daniel himself, TJLSB, says, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button twice. Um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, when I work out how to turn this off, I'll see you again soon.